This is calculator question number 25 from practice test 1. College Board gives us an equation describing the height of a ball t seconds after it's launched vertically and asks after approximately how, how many seconds will the ball hit the ground. This is a calculator question, so I'm going to do it on the calculator. I enter my equation into y equals, and I'm just going to use the standard window since all my times are less than 10, so it will show up in the standard window. Hit graph. And my graph looks like this. And if I find the zero, it is 5.1 seconds. Approximately how many seconds till the ball hits the ground? Since the h value is the height above the ground, it hits the ground at h equals zero, which is 5.1 seconds, approximately five seconds. I could solve this by hand, set h equal to 0, negative 4.9t squared plus 25t equals 0, factor out t, t times negative 4.9t plus 25 equals 0, so either the first factor equals 0, t equals 0, which is not an answer choice and also doesn't make sense in the context of the problem. It wouldn't make sense for a ball to hit the ground at the time that is thrown upward at 25 meters per second. If the first factor is not zero, the second factor is zero. Negative 4.9t plus 25 equals zero. Add 4.9t to both sides. And I get 25 equals 4.9t divided by 4.9 and t equals 25 over 4.9, which is about 25 over 5, which would be 5. 25 over 4.9 on my calculator is 5.1. Same as I found by graphing. And we could have done that completely by hand, but I prefer the convenience and speed of the calculator. College Board often asks you for the solutions of a quadratic equation and you going to the calculator often saves you time there. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.